Hello and welcome my dear friends. The last two questions we have solved so far were relatively easy questions. And now I think that it is time to solve a little bit harder question. Let's say a moderate level question. Let's get started. Okay, here comes my question. You are given a phone index. You are given a dictionary phone index that keeps numbers of some users sold by their names. Okay, here is my phone index given as a dictionary. Here, let's say Alex has a phone number, this. Aisha has a phone number, this, and so forth. We want to write a function, update pi, that appends a new person, deletes a new person, and changes a person's phone number. Okay, we want to control this phone index. This is our purpose of the question of the function update pi. And this function update pi has two inputs. First input is the person, and second person is second input is the action. And uh, the action is A for append, D for delete, and C for change. And we are going to take the phone number from the user where necessary. Which means that when we want to append a new person, the new person's phone number, or when we want to change a person's phone number, we are going to take it from the user. Okay, let's check the tracers now. Okay, if person enters a for act, person enters a wrong action. What's the wrong action? Because uh, this action, as I have just told you, must be an element of A for append, C for change, or D for delete. There is no T. So, in this case, my program should prompt the user by invalid action. So, let's make a plan for my function update pi. First, we need to validate the action. Okay. Now, this validation is can uh, we can find out that our action is invalid which should follow by a prompt. Invalid action. So, this is the start. What, what if our action is valid? Next case given here, if the person has such an input, update by calc C. So, is there a person calc in my dictionary? Let's check. It's not calc, it's not calc, it's not calc, it's not calc. So, I want uh, my program in this case to prompt the user there is no such a person. Okay. Now, let's think about it. When we check the phone, for which actions we check the phone? We check the phone index for the actions when I want to change a phone number or uh, when I want to delete a phone number. Okay? But if I want to append the phone number, I don't check I don't check the current phone number. I just append the new person with uh, his or her, her phone number. So, these two sets of actions have uh, different effects on need to check the person whether she is or he is at our phone number or not. So, after valid, let's say, check the action. And according to the classification I have just made, we have two options here. The action can be an append 
which does not require to check our for phone index for the person. Let's say here action is equal to append. If this is the case, I will just take the phone number, take the number and append the person. But for the other two actions, action, let's say, is an element of change or delete. I need to validate whether there is such a person. Let's say validate the person this time. So, if the person is invalid, which means that if there is not, not, no such person in our phone index. In this case, we need to give a prompt. And this prompt should say the person that there is no such a person. Okay. On the other hand, if there is such a person, so a person is valid here, then there are two options for our action, which are action can be a change or our action can be a delete. If our action is delete, just delete the person. So if the if our action is change, so we need to take new phone number and change the phone number. Okay, this is the plan uh, for my code. Actually, the hard part for this code is to make a good plan. Now, uh, since our since we have a good plan, we can try it at Python. Okay, I have this phone index here, and I have a to-do list. Now let's get started. Let's say uh, define update pi, which is our which is the name for our code, and first input is the person and next input is the action now the first thing uh, i need to do is validate the action how can i validate it let's say if it is not the case that action uh, if it is not the case that action is in the set Let's write it as a list, append or delete or change. If it is not one of these words, we need to prompt the user, which is print invalid action. Let's just copy it here. Okay. Now, I have done with my first to-do list. And next, if it is not the case, which means that if our action is validated, next, uh, we, we will write the case action is A, if action is equal to A. Then, we are going to ask the user for the person's new number. Let's say uh, new number is equal to integer input uh, integer input enter new phone number for the person for for the person x so uh, uh, this should be an f string because it contains a variable and our variable is the person to ask the new phone number. So after we get this phone number, uh, we can append 
this person to our phone index phone index and here person phone index with uh, key value person should obtain this new number we have just taken from the user so if it is not the case as we have completed with the action a let's delete it and let's continue with this else else uh, we need to check if we have such a person so else i'm gonna write if it is not the case that person in phone index then i'll prompt the user let's say print and this is a f string person uh, which is the variable person which is held by the variable person is not in the phone index i'll write okay else we have two options left which are delayed option and change option now uh, i am at the case if action is equal to delete so i'll delete the person which i will do by phone index dot pop uh, and person here pop uh, delays the person from the phone index you need to know the pop uh, extension of a dictionary okay else let's or let's say elif action is equal to change then i need to ask the person for uh, the person's new phone number okay so new number let's say number is equal to it's an integer input uh, enter new phone number for the person 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 i mean uh, person variable person okay after that uh, i'll say that phone index phone index with key entry person will take a, a new value which is new number okay so i am done uh, with my code now let's check my tracers okay my first tracer here update pi when I write it and run it, I need to see invalid action. Okay, this works. Now, what about my uh, other tracers? Let's say uh, this tracer, which is update by uh, a correct action, but a wrong person. Now I need to see the prompt that there is not such a person okay you see person calp is not in the phone index i am also done with this tracer okay let's uh, check the other one for the change and delete options i need to check i need to print my phone index before and after i call uh, update by so that I can see this change. Let's say I want to change the phone number for Alp. Okay. And after that, uh, I again print the phone number to, to see the change, phone index. Let's run it. Okay. This is uh, the phone index dictionary before the change. And now uh, I am entering the phone number for Alp. Let's enter my phone number. Okay. And so you see uh, my, my phone number is changed 
uh, at the index. But uh, let's correct the place when, when I where I take this phone number. Uh, I mean change because it is better uh, to put a place here. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What happened? Okay, here a pants. Uh, delay change. Ah, okay, here it is. And so uh, I want to put a space here. Okay, that's why. Now I'm also done with this uh, tracer. Let's delete it. And now, uh, what about the fourth tracer? Update by Shader Delete. So again, uh, I want to see the change before and after I call uh, my function update pi. So let's call it. You see, uh, in the first call, there was Shada with her phone number. And after I delete it, in the second uh, print, there is no shader. This also works. Okay. So, and finally, uh, I want to update Ahmed to my phone number. So, uh, let's also print before and after this call. Print phone index. And after again print for index. Let's see it. Okay, before uh, I want new phone number for Ahmed. Uh, oh, also, I can put a space here where, where, where I append it. Uh, okay, Ahmed's phone number. Let me enter Ahmed's first phone, phone number. And uh, you see, there were no Ahmed, neither his phone number before uh, the call for update pi. And after uh, I update pi, I after I call the function update pi, and I want to append Ahmed's phone number. Uh, I entered his phone number, and Ahmed is appended here, my friends and. We are so happy about these tracers and uh, my functions working correctly. So, thank you very much, my friends. Thank you very much, my friends, for watching me. And I wish uh, it was a helpful question. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please make so and uh, take care of yourselves until we see each other next time.